Hey everyone, today I want to introduce some of my favorite new plan apps that I found recently. So let's dive into each one so you can find the perfect fit for you. Okay, the first one is Lunatask. It is one of the best new task apps I found lately. This one's really interesting because it combines several tools that you normally need separate apps for, namely a task manager, notes, habit tracker, journal, and a relationship manager. So the task manager is clean and intuitive. You can create multiple areas of your life like um, personal, and work and for each one you can set goals with deadlines such as become more sociable, um, read more books and publish one blog post a week. But what's interesting is that it lets you switch between different methods of managing your to-dos. There's a priority list which is the most common way of organizing your tasks but also now or later, Kanban, Eisenhower matrix and so on. It's nice to have um, flexibility like this so you can find the best workflow for yourself. And I also really like that it has this daily calendar in the sidebar where you can drag and drop to schedule your to-do uh, as well as a scratch pad to drop down anything. But for writing, you can make proper notes with tags. Um, while it doesn't have fancy features like tables and bi-directional linking, it does work pretty well for basic note taking. Then there is this habit tracker to keep a record of your habits and journal to reflect on your day. With this, you're able to record your mood and see how it changed over time as well. And like I said, what's cool about this tool is that it's got a relationship manager um, where you keep track of various people in life. It's kind of helpful to have a personal CIM like this as you get to know more people because it's very easy to forget to have a catch up with them, what people like and stuff. Also, it helps you remember important dates like anniversary and birthdays. Um, overall, I think Lunatask is such a solid all-in-one tool. It does everything everything pretty well um, and it's easy to learn how to use it because it's intuitive. The price is $6 a month if you pay annually and $8 a month if you pay monthly, which is very affordable and cheap for what it offers. It's a great tool for organizing your work and life. Speaking of making the most of your time, one of the best ways to figure out your career path is through 80,000 hours, who's sponsoring this video today. Whether you're a student planning your future or as someone considering a career switch, they are the perfect place to start and their advice is completely free. They are a non-profit organization dedicated to helping people find meaningful careers that make a positive impact. 80,000 Hours provides free research-backed resources to help people find careers that make a real difference in the world. What I love about their approach is that they don't just give generic advice. They actually do deep research into which careers can help solve the world's most pressing problems, which I think is a great way to find your ideal job. And their website has everything from detailed career guides to uh, a job board and a podcast featuring in-depth conversations with experts. You can even ask for a free personalized one-on-one -on -one advice. They have helped thousands of people find more fulfilling careers that also create positive change in the world. So if you're not sure what to do with your career or thinking of switching careers, check them out at 80,000hours.org slash Xiaomi. I put the link in the description and you can get their in-depth career guide right away. All right, now let's get back to the plan apps. So the next one is Before Sunset AI. This tool has some of the most interesting use cases of AI in productivity tools. So at first, it looks just like a simple to-do app where you can make your to-do list and schedule them. But what's different from other apps or more like what's becoming common is this AI assistant that helps you generate tasks based on your goal and uh, things you want to accomplish. So you can simply describe what you want to get done today and it will turn them into a concrete to-dos, which is pretty cool. But um, in my experience, you need to be specific rather than vague. Otherwise, your list will be cluttered with things you don't completely understand or not relevant at all. Um, but a more useful feature, in my opinion, is make it actionable command, which is great because a lot of to-dos tend to be vague and that is a big reason why we struggle to start working on them. So this is nice. And then once you have your list, you can press this uh, plan my day button, uh, which is an AI auto scheduling feature. It saves time from doing that manually. But here, what's cool is that there are various options to build your schedule, um, such as Eat the Frog, Batch Similar, uh, Quick Wind, depending on what makes you feel motivated. And it's gonna take a little bit of time, but it works very well. Now, a different feature I found interesting is called Oasis Mode. When you turn it on, it creates this distraction-free environment where you can put together an ambient music player, notes, timer, and so on, and focus on your work. 
it can be just a gimmick for some people, but it's nice that it simplifies your workspace in some ways. If you're interested, it's $8 uh, a month if you pay annually or $18 a month if you pay monthly. Okay, now moving on to Tweak Calendar, and this one's a, a breath of fresh air. What caught my attention is how it captures the simplicity of paper planning in digital form. If you've ever found yourself going back to pen and paper because apps felt unnecessarily complicated, Tweak might be exactly what you're looking for. The interface is built around a, a weekly view that feels incredibly natural. Um, instead of cramming your screen with endless features, it gives you a, a clean white canvas that mimics a paper planner. You can just click anywhere and start typing your tasks. Um, no complicated menus or multiple steps required. Once you have your plans ready, you can see it from the mobile app or there's an option to print it so you can carry it with you without the distractions of your phone. Feel free to print it out and hang it on the wall. Basically, this is a free app, but if you like slightly more things like subtasks, notes, and reminders, you can get the premium version, which is only $4 a month. Okay, now, Livestack is a smart planner app with an interesting approach to time management. What's different about it is how it builds your schedule with your energy in mind. This app's scheduling system works by gathering your health matrix, including sleep quality and activity levels from your phone and wearables to identify when you are the most energized throughout the day. It doesn't just track your schedule, it understands your body's natural rhythms and helps you work with them, not against them. At the beginning, it creates a, a personalized energy profile by monitoring your circadian rhythm and combining it with your own feedback about restfulness and uh, stress levels. This data is then transformed into an um, energy score that helps you plan your day more effectively. So let's say you've got a, a crucial report to write as soon as possible. Um, Livestack looks at your energy patterns and suggests a perfect time slot when you are most alert and focused. And if you need to handle some routine emails, the app will help you schedule these during your lower energy periods so you can make the most of every hour in your day. Also, I personally love that when your energy dips, it gives you suggestions for energy boosting activities um, like yoga, taking a walk, or like having coffee, which help you stay productive throughout the day. For now, it's $6 a month if you pay annually and $10 a month if you pay monthly. All right, last but not least is by design. What I like about it is how it manages to be both aesthetically pleasing and functional, which is something that's surprisingly rare in productivity apps. The interface is so well thought out that using it actually feels enjoyable rather than like a chore. I love this home screen, which is like a dashboard where you can see your to-dos for today and tomorrow, um, habits, projects, and your schedule for the day. Then you can drag and drop tasks onto the calendar if you like to time block or there's an option to switch to the weekly view or monthly view as well. I also love that it lets you take notes and make plan as well. It's kind of like Notion where it lets you create tables and a list. What I personally like is being able to set task details using natural language like the due dates, duration, and, and the time. This makes creating new tasks so much easier. Also, there is a habit list and a template market, even though there isn't much variety yet. But I love that they have a list of online courses so you can see how you can improve your skills. I don't think I've seen a productivity app with this feature, so it's nice to see it. Overall, I think it's such a well-designed app that's satisfying to use, and it's very cheap as well. It's $4 a month if you pay annually and $6 a month if you pay monthly. If you're interested in the to-do app, that I actually use every day. Check this video out. All right. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Um, see you in the next one. Bye.